Welcome to day two of the 10 days of Holy Yoga. I hope that you had fun practicing the basic sun salutation sequence yesterday. And today we're just gonna add on to that a little bit. So for our, our sequence today, it's gonna be more focused for a morning practice, which is gonna include some sun salutations, but also some spinal warm ups, which is very important to do in the beginning part of your day. So we wanna twist the spine in all four directions and I'm gonna lead you um, through a sequence that's gonna do just that. But before we get started, like we said yesterday, it's not about the yoga. It's about taking time to relax your body, to even strengthen your body and find stillness in your mind. So for today's intention, go ahead and come to a comfortable seated position. Uh, wherever you're at, you can place a, a pillow or a block underneath your hips. We'll be here for just a few breaths. And then maybe take a big breath in and close your eyes. And just start to bring some awareness to your breath. And if you're practicing this in the morning, this should be a little bit easier than some of your other parts of the day practices because we haven't clouded our minds with data. So just find your breath. And I just want to read to you today from Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22. How enduring is God's loyal love? The eternal has inexhaustible compassion. And here they are every morning new. Your faithfulness, God, is as broad as the day. So let's just breathe in that truth that he has inexhaustible love for you and for me. And his compassion, his mercy, it never runs out. And with each sunrise, it's a new start. It's a fresh start. So today, before you do anything else, just thank him for that and receive this truth in your heart before you go about your day. So let's take two more deep breaths here. Just inhale deeply and feel the air. Start to fill your lungs and, and maybe move into your belly and expand your belly for that deep belly breathing. Good. And as you exhale, just get all of the air out. One more breath. Big breath in. And then big breath out. Beautiful. So we're going to start with some seated postures to really warm up our spine. These are great to do, like I said, in the morning, but even at work, if you sit in a chair, you can come to the edge of your chair and practice this um, little sequence that I have for you. So go ahead and get really tall. Fill the, the base of your hips. Just connect with your mat or with your chair, wherever you're sitting, and just get really nice and tall. As you inhale, feel your spine grow, one vertebrae at a time. And as you exhale, feel your shoulders melt away from your ears, creating space in your neck. So you have a nice long neck, nice long spine. Good, we're gonna start with a couple gentle twists. Take a big breath in and then reach those hands all the way overhead. Just reaching those fingertips nice and firmly towards the ceiling, maybe knitting those ribs back together, pulling that belly button towards the spine. Big breath in, eyes can be open or closed through the sequence. And then let the left hand gently rest on the right knee. Right hand can come directly next to your right hip or it can reach behind you for a deeper twist. So a couple of options here, depending on where you're at, again, in your day, in your practice, this may be plenty for you. So on your inhale, just feel your spine grow taller. And on your exhale, start to move just a little more towards the right into that twist. And you really want to move through the torso. You can even take the neck out of it by looking straight ahead and twisting the, the middle part of your body. Good, reaching that right hand around as far as feels comfortable for you. We're not going for a super, super deep stretch today, but you can take it as deep as you need to. So again, inhale, get tall, feel your spine grow and feel your hips root into your mat. And then exhale, rotate a little deeper into your twist. That right shoulder is back and down away from your ear. One more breath here. Good, and then come all the way over to that left side. We're gonna take those left 
uh, all your fingertips to the left side and just maybe even feel that right hip rise a little bit for a counter twist. Good, and then come back to center. Big breath in, reach those hands overhead. Exhale, we're gonna rotate to the left this time. So the right hand comes to the left knee, left hand comes out to the left of your hip or maybe towards the base of your spine. So that right hand can just be gently placed on your knee. It can also be palm up, just putting a little pressure on the left side of that left knee. So again, take a big breath in, get really tall. Exhale, rotate through the torso. Again, taking the neck out of the equation if you need to by looking back forward. Taking one more big breath here. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, find more space as you rotate a little deeper. We're not forcing, we're just moving into that space. Good, now we're gonna sweep those hands all the way over to the right side of our body, lifting that left hip just to counter balance that twist a little bit. Nice job. So coming back to center, hands are gonna come to the tops of the knees. So again, finding a nice um, neutral but straight and tall spine. Looking forward, drawing the ears over the shoulders. Big breath in and then a big breath out. Nice job. Inhale, press the chest towards the front of your mat and look up slightly and you're gonna squeeze those shoulders together gently on the back side of your body. So have a little uh, back bend here, so you're kind of letting the belly muscles release here. Big breath in, and then as you exhale, round the upper back, and then maybe tuck the chin into your chest, and you can even pull slightly on those knees to get a deeper stretch in the upper back. Good, inhale, pressing your chest forward for that cow pose, and then exhale for the cat pose. Good. These are called seated cat cows, and we're going to take some a little bit of a deeper variation of this posture in just a few breaths. But let's stay here. Maybe two more of each posture. You can open your eyes or close your eyes, whatever feels good. But inhale, one breath to one movement as you flow through these. Good. Coming back to center and neutral spine. So when you're ready, go ahead and find your way into tabletop position with your shoulders directly over your wrist, your fingertips are spread wide, and then your knees are going to be underneath your hips. So in neutral spine, you're like a tabletop, so you're not down or you're not like pressing up either. So you're just right in the middle. The tops of your feet are planted on your mat. So take a big breath here, and we're just going to exaggerate that posture a little bit just to go a little deeper now that we've kind of warmed up our spine slightly. So go ahead and drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the hips, and release all of the tension in your belly. Good, and then as you exhale, tuck the chin into your chest and press, really root into the, the palms of your hands and press away from your mat as you find this cat position. Rock back and forth if that feels good for you. Inhale, lifting the hips opening the heart, looking up. Exhale, press away. Good, let's move through two more of these on your own, with your own breath and your own pace. Good, and with no rush to get there, just meet me in neutral spine in that tabletop position again. So from here, we're gonna tuck those toes and lift the hips for downward facing dog. So if this is your first down dog of the day, just start to walk those knees a little bit, one at a time, so you can start to straighten the left heel and bend the right knee, and then opposite on the next breath. So left knee bends, right heel straightens. And those fingertips, again, are spread wide, pressing through the palms of your hands, ears between the biceps, hips are high, and just alternate those knee, those bending those knees. We call this walking your dog. We're gonna take one more breath here and then we're gonna flow through a couple of sun salutations together. Good, step those feet up to meet your hands, lift halfway with the flat back. And then fold deeper as you exhale. 
Good, inhale, sweep those hands all the way overhead. This time, with those hands overhead, take the right hand and reach for the left wrist and bend over towards the right. So you're gonna feel a big stretch in your left side body. Really feeling this in that left hip, the left ribs all the way up to the left fingertips. The left foot is rooted deeply and firmly into your mat. And then back to center, big breath in, get a little taller in your arms and then over to the left. So now we're bending the spine sideways. So we've gone front and back and then we've twisted and now we're going side to side. Good, coming back to center, take a big breath in and then you can bow or you can dive with the flat back to fold over those knees. Good, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. So keep the right fingertips on your mat. Right knee bends, left leg straightens. And then we're gonna open the left fingertips towards the ceiling. So option to come to your right thigh with your right forearm. You're gonna feel a big stretch on that left leg. Good, and then fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bend the left knee, straighten the right, and open up towards the right this time. So that right fingertip is high. The, uh, um, the idea here is to get your shoulders stacked on top of each other. So if you feel like that right hand is a little too far um, forward, then just come up into that um, forearm to the, to the thigh. Good, and then fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, find your plank, step back, option to come to the knees and lower down. Good. And then press straight up for cobra, tuck the toes down or facing dog. So very mindful movements, we're not moving quickly through these um, postures, but we're also not staying super static, especially in the morning, we want to keep things flowing to get everything nice and open. So go ahead and find yourself in forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Good, I'm gonna run through that one more time with you and then I'm gonna give you the option to continue this sequence we have. So sweep those hands all the way overhead, big breath in. Exhale to the right as you grab that left wrist. Inhale, back to center and then exhale to the left. And then back to center, big breath in and then fold forward with a flat back. And once you reach those knees, go ahead and let go and release and round over those knees. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, right knee bends, left hand lifts. And then back to center. Left knee bends, right hand lifts. We're gonna do that one more time. These are called windmills. Really opening the sides of those legs. Good, right knee bends, right hand plants left hand lifts. Last one, left hand comes to your mat or to your thigh. Left knee bends, right hand reaches. Good, coming back to center fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, and then find your plank. Making sure those wrists are underneath the shoulders, elbows are right next to the ribs, lower down. Maybe you come into Cobra, Maybe you're ready for up dog by lifting the thighs, flipping to the tops of your feet and pressing away from your mat. Good, down or facing dog. So staying here for five breaths and down or facing dog, you have the option to just complete your practice right here and maybe come into child's pose and reflect on our scripture that we spoke about earlier or go ahead and run through this sequence a few more times. Thank you so much for spending your morning with me. I hope that you enjoyed that sunrise sequence that we just practiced. Um, but more than anything, I just wanna leave you with the thought that, that God's mercy and his compassion for you is never ending. And with every morning, every sunrise, you have an opportunity to meet with him and to receive that lavish mercy. So meet me back here tomorrow for day three, and we're gonna talk about how to get a little refresh in the middle of your day. So maybe you stay at home, maybe you work, but whatever that is for you, I'm gonna show you how to reset your day in the middle of the day. 
So you've rolled up your mat and you've taken care of your body, but are you taking care of your mind and your heart? In a season where I found myself completely overwhelmed and anxious with day-to-day -day life, I recognized that something was missing. And that something was daily routine and self-care and love. So over the next few months, I began to build new habits, a new routine, and some consistency that really brought life back into my heart, into my mind, and into my body. And I wanna share that with you. Head on over to dailysoulcare.com and grab your free copy today.